The development of mankind is in many ways analogous to the growth of a child. A young child learns to walk and to talk, and so our species has developed tools and language, physical and verbal aptitudes, which allow manipulation of the immediate environment. Any parent will attest to the fact that a toddler comes into this world eager, full of questions, seeking new information. And so in our parallel, we see eras such as classicism and the Enlightenment, epics, where our understanding of the universe grew in leaps and bounds. And conversely, teenagers especially exemplify an emotionally irrational behavior set. And so we see the dark ages, the wars and crimes and evils of this world, which are so self-destructive in nature. And whether it is modeled in the form of an angry teen picking up a smoking habit, or a nation committing genocide on a specious or even non-existent rationale, the fundamental source of this destruction is always the same, ignorance. It is an ignorance which begets false confidence and an ignorance which instills fear. An ignorance which leaves those in its folds nestled there, warm and unaware, to both the negative consequences of their actions and their beautiful creative potential. Numb to both the glories and the horrors of our reality. Ignorance is dangerous, and this is where we as people, regardless of our national, racial, ethnic, or faith-based ties, have a responsibility to forego our youth, to deny them their education, is to send them into a destructive spiral of ignorance. It is to send our species as a whole into a way of life which is as plodding as it is primitive. I fear for the youth of today, specifically those within the upper echelons of socioeconomic status, those bastions of suburban stability which litter prosperous America. I fear for the youth of today because I believe that the myriad forces of a rapidly changing society, when pitted against an oft-failing education system, will more consistently succeed in producing consuming automatons in lieu of thinking citizens. And it appears that to some degree I am validated. It is disheartening to acknowledge that the most searched for person in the year of 2013 was Beyonce, while John Boehner, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, was not even in the top 500 that the average working te teacher in the United States of America has a salary of $35,000 a year, while that of a professional NBA basketball player is $5.15 million, and that fewer than one in 10 Americans watched Obama's 2012 State of the Union address, but more than one in three watched the most recent Super Bowl. It is not enough to criticize our current way of life as superficial, gluttonous, complacent, or unsustainable. If we do not strive to endow the newest members of our society with critical thinking skills and a global emotional maturity, then we are self-destructive. But we do not destroy only ourselves. We hurt our children, too, by bringing them into a world of light without teaching them to see. If we do not change, mankind in its irrationality will in a moment or a thousand moments a decision or a thousand decisions send itself on the road to annihilation in a manner very much resembling a teenager entering a vehicle while inebriated. If we do not push so that our systems of education, be they emotional, physical, spiritual, or intellectual, are all adept at creating conscientious, proactive, thinking, engaged citizenry of the modern world, then we are that teenager. And we will live as we die in the dark. Thank you.